Hi all, this is Reshmi Elias from freshersworld.com. As you all know, one of the most important topics for all competitive exams is ratio and proportion. So, in today's video also, I will be giving you some tricks to solve the problems related to the same quickly. This video is sponsored by An Academy, and after a small video, we will start our classes on ratio and proportion. An Academy presents general knowledge test series every Monday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. This series includes free test for general knowledge session of all the prominent B school entrance tests such as SAT, IFT, CMAT, and TIS. These tests will help you track your preparation progress and will assist you on your general awareness or general knowledge. So do not wait. Get access to these free general knowledge test series now. Check out the link given in the description below. Good luck. Happy learning. First question. The annual income of two persons is in the ratio 2 is to 3. And the ratio of their expenditure is 5 is to 9. If each one of them saves rupees 600 in the year, find the annual income of both. So, in the question, it is given that the annual income of two persons is in the ratio 2 is to 3 and their expenditure is in the ratio 5 is to 9. In the question, it is said that both of them saves rupees 600 in the year and to get the savings, what we have to do? We have to subtract the expenditure from the income. But from the ratios which is given in the question, we can find out the difference between income and expenditure. That is, for the first person, the difference between the income and expenditure is 5 minus 2, that is 3. And for the second person, the difference between the income and expenditure is 9 minus 3, that is 6. But in the question, it is said that both of them saves rupees 600. So, what we have to do is make this difference equal. For that, find the difference of ratios of incomes of both persons, that is 3 minus 2, 1. And we will get the difference of expenditure of both the persons as 9 minus 5 that is equal to 4. Now what you have to do is multiply the first ratio with the difference of the second ratio. So the difference of second ratio is 4. Now multiply the first ratio with the difference of the second ratio. That is multiplying 2 is to 3 with 4 you will get 8 is to 12 and multiplying the second ratio with the difference of the first ratio difference of the first ratio is 1 so there will be no change we will get the answer as 5 is to 9 itself we can see that the difference between income and expenditure of the first person is 8 minus 5 that is 3 units and for the second person the difference between the income and expenditure is 12 minus 9 that is Three units but this difference is actually the amount which they saved in a year so we can write three units is equal to 600 so from this one unit is equal to 600 by 3 that is equal to 200 Our question is to find out the annual income of both but we got the new ratio of income as 8 is to 12 so from this it is clear that the income, annual income of the first person is 8 units. We got 1 unit as 200. So, to get the annual income of the first person, multiply 8 with 200. So, you will get it as 1600. And to find the annual income of the second person, the value corresponding to the income is 12 units. So, multiply 12 with 200. So, 2400 will be the answer. The question is to find out the expenditure of both persons. What we have to do? Multiply the new ratio that is 5 is to 9 with the value of 1 unit that is 200. So answer will be 5 into 200, 1000. That will be the expenditure of first person and for the second person 9 into 200, 1800. Next question is ratio of two numbers is 3 is to 8 and the difference is 115. Find the smaller of 2. Here the ratio is given as 3 is to 8 and the difference is given as 115. In this question 
the difference of ratios of two numbers is 8 minus 3 that is equal to 5 units and in the question the difference is given as 115 so this 5 units is equal to 115 so from this one unit is equal to 115 by 5 that is equal to 23 and we are asked to find out the smallest number so we know that the ratio is 3 is to 8 so this value corresponding to the smaller number is 3 units we got one unit as 23 so to get the smaller number multiply 3 with 23 so 23 into 3 is 69 next question what must be added to each term of ratio 7 is to 11 so as to make it equal to 3 is to 4 so in our question we have a ratio 7 is to 11 by adding a particular value we will get the ratio as 3 is to 4 what is that value which must be added that is the question it is clear that the difference between the present and the new ratio of both the numbers are not equal for the first number it is 7 minus 3 4 and for the second number 11 minus 4 7 this cannot happen because we are adding the same number. So, for to make this difference equal, what we have to do? Multiply first ratio with the difference of the second ratio. The difference of the second ratio is 4 minus 3, 1. So, there will be no change. So, the new ratio will be 7 is to 11 itself. Now, the second ratio is 3 is to 4. We have to multiply this ratio with the difference of the first ratio. That is 11 minus 7. 4. So, multiplying 3 is to 4 with the 4, we will get 12 is to 16. So, we got this difference equal. That is 12 minus 7 is 5 and 16 minus 11 is 5. From this, it is clear that the term which must be added to the ratio 7 is to 11 is 5. So, that the new ratio will be 3 is to 4. <laughs>